Good evening and welcome to State of Business. You are with me, Madhusha Tavapala Kumar. Let's take a look at the headlines first. President reviews progress of independent commissions. And CBSL Governor highlights importance of having a competitive exchange rate. Now the story is in detail. President Madhripala Sirisena has chaired the Progress Review Meeting of Independent Commissions which were established under the 19th Amendment to the Constitution. The chairpersons, the secretaries and the members of Public Service Commission, Elections Commission, National Police Commission, Audit Commission, Sri Lanka Human Rights Commission, Finance Commission, Delimitation Commission and National Procurement Commission participated in this discussion. Furthermore, they examined new suggestions, opinions, ideas and problems about those commissions. President advised them to immediately prepare a methodology to ensure proper activation of the work of those commissions. President pointed out the requirement of passing the promised legislations including the Audit Act. Central Bank Governor Dr. Indrajit Kumaraswamy says the only way Sri Lanka can get out of the existing debt crisis is by enhancing the export revenue. He said for that the country needs to maintain a competitive exchange rate as well. Last year, Sri Lanka's export revenue was around $10.3 billion. At present, according to the Central Bank's latest annual report, Sri Lanka's debt to GDP ratio is 77.6%, which is very high compared to PI economies. We are saying that we cannot get out of this debt dynamics, which is constraining growth, in the, growth and employment in this country. The only way you can get out of it is if you export. Now, let us say your, your exchange rate is 5% overvalued, right? Then what you're doing basically is you are compelling your domestic producers, both exporters and producers of import competing goods, to run 105 meters in a 100 meter race, right? And you are subsidizing the foreign producers who are importing in here by 5%, so they have to run only 95 meters. So clearly, if you are interested in addressing this debt problem and in promoting exports, a key thing is a competitive exchange rate. You, you look at all the successful countries of East and Southeast Asia. They used to have undervalued exchange rates. In fact, remember, the, 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 they used to be called currency manipulators. The Americans keep saying that they are currency manipulators by keeping the exchange rate undervalued. Now, we, if we are serious about exporting, we have to have a competitive exchange rate. You know, otherwise, we're not going to get out of this problem. The premier startup conference and exhibition Disrupt Asia 2017, organized by the ICT agency of Sri Lanka, was launched in Colombo recently. This year's startup conference will be held in Colombo in July for the second consecutive year. What we must also recognize is even the largest companies in the world today, including Facebook, was a startup. Google was a startup. The, I mean, these are not created by huge giants who were in the corporate world. Today, they, I mean, everybody says, oh, wow, but they were just startup. When you really look up, it was those countries had the ecosystem ready and there was an entire energy behind risk-taking and entrepreneurship, which we as a country lack, and we need to build it. And that's what the government of Sri Lanka is really putting all this together in order to make sure we build the startups and we build new businesses, and these businesses would thrive beyond our shores. This year's conference will feature top speakers, mentors, and investors. Innovative startups will also be showcased. The event will also serve as a platform to connect attendees with high-impact entrepreneurs and thought leaders. There is only so many jobs that you can create with existing industries. And we are promising our people more jobs, more employment opportunities, and that can be only done with uh, new, new innovations and new businesses that come up. So startup entrepreneurship will bring that uh, dimension to our business create a more robust uh, business environment and more job opportunities and bring the innovation that is also very crucial for the development of our country. Um, so we look forward to Startup Asia 2017. We expect it to be even more uh, robust and energetic than the one last year. 
um, and we hope that there will be a lot of young people who will join in and it will also uh, be a platform where uh, people can interact with one another, not just the startups but other people supporting the ecosystem and where we could have other, other like uh, financial organizations come in to take this uh, venture further forward. Let's take a look at more news after this break. Welcome back. The Department of Integrated Design of Moratova University announced that Sri Lanka Design Code 2017 exhibition will be held in Colombo over the weekend. The Department of Integrated Designs of the University of Moratova is organizing this exhibition. The designs created by university students of every academic year will be exhibited. The university believes this exhibition will create the platform to establish the design industry in Sri Lanka. We actually wanted to start this a long time ago. Um, our intention actually was not only to um, inform about what we are doing at the university to the industry, but also to capture the younger generation. Because that is our main target. But this year we are mainly focusing the industry, but I think um, this, I take this opportunity to uh, enlighten you about our design program and how we had started this and why, especially why we had started this. Because as I told you earlier, our intention is to enlighten our younger generation about this program. Let's take a look at the stocks after this break. Welcome back. The trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended in a negative note today. The all share price index dropped by 20.44 points to close the session at 6,697.90. And the SNP SL20 index dropped by 22.73 points to close the session at 3,841.08. The turnover was 629.2 million rupees and 27.6 million shares were traded. High net worth and institutional investor participation was witnessed in TJ Lanka, Tokyo Cement Company and Sunshine Holdings. Mixed interest was observed in John Keels Holdings and Commercial Bank, whilst retail interest was noted in Brown's Capital, Ceylon Grain Elevators and Commercial Credit and Finance. Meanwhile, foreigners remained active, closing as net buyers mainly due to foreign buying in TJ Lanka. Next is Forex Rates. Thank you for joining with us. We'll meet you tomorrow with more latest news. Until then, take care. Good night.